<laughs> oh shit! <laughs> I pressed the wrong button. Sorry. <laughs> I end stream accidentally. <laughs> What's jamming on the music? Ah, too bad. Damn it. Um, let me fix something real quick. Enter. Ah, load game. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Yeah, last time we just discovered that the microwave have able to transport the bananas back to to its um <laughs> sorry able to trans transport banana back and in a jelly form <laughs> might really come to carry a convenient store bag. Look like she done with her work. Karin ruined your bananas already. I'm sorry. When she entered the development room, her eye gone wild. We have a guest, yes. Once she noticed Kuris. Kuris. Mayuri bow, bow her head with usual smile. Yoroshiku. Apparently, I'm a map. Yay! No. <laughs> no. What are you doing with X68000? さっき例えばメールの着信設定の調整だって遠隔操作のためのメールを受け取った時のモニタリング用でさだから同時に120秒の冷凍機能を使ってたPCからでも冷凍機能を起動できるようにしてやんだよね昨日はそのテストもしてたんだメリージューシーカラーゲナンバーワンデイワレンジカッコカリの中へ No, not the juicy chicken number one Come on, not stop wasting food With her usual dizziness, Mayuri put the chicken inside the microwave. No, don't, don't waste food. That will explain what, what everything on the computer monitor means. Doesn't look like the difference from using DOS. I enter a uh, 120 hashtag. <laughs> it's not hashtag square. I uh, can't remember what it's called again. On the keyboard and strike the enter key. Bop. The phone will start up. The juicy chicken number one starts spinning backward on the turntable. Chris, Chris stare hard at the phone wave, as if to not let any abnormality or matter how, how slight scape her notice. You there, assistant? Huh? Huh? Watashi? <laughs> Since when was she your assistant? Who else? Exactly. Nah, you're starting now, you're my assistant. If we reproduce the condition correctly. Then if she sends something to my phone while it's connected to the phone web named subject to change, it should arrive with a timestamp from the past, not the present. But my assistant, Kurisu, just go. Then ask, woman. Oh, <laughs> 
anything. Christina wa hentai. Said Christina wa hentai. Hentai kinshi ni itta daro. Ja, aida o totte. Okarin wa hentai de. Um, who are you? Who are you? Are daro? You traitor. <laughs> Chris is giving and give Daru a thumb up. Hey! I really don't like this. She took everything from me. My assistant. My chicken. I sound like Mayuri has found a result of our latest experiment. Why me? Because you ruin it. Too late to notice that, Mayuri. So you got it. We are. Too bad. Take that. Mayuri slipped past me and stepped on the activate phone Before anyone can react, she grabbed the handle. Oh, yeah? But it's too late! Blue white light filled the room, cracking angry at the heart of a storm. A violent sparking sound. I grabbed Mayuri and pulled her away from the phone wave. Are we gonna die? No, not Mayuri. Don't let her die. Sounds like popcorn. Yes. Yeah, yeah. It does sound like popcorn, doesn't it? You know the one in the cinema? The machine, popcorn machine? A thick cloud of smoke filled the room. Smell like something's burning. It's just... <laughs> my eyes are numb from all the flashing light. I tried blinking several times to regain my sight. I can hear Kurisu and Daru coughing. What about Mayuri? Mayuri, Mayuri squeezed my upper arm with her slender finger. Yeah, she's safe. My vision gradually returned. Mayuri looked perplexed. <laughs> Looked like covering Mayuri was the right choice. I may be an insane mass scientist, but I still risk like and limp for the safety of my comrade. I gently let Mayuri out of my embrace. Nice going, Okarin. Protect Mayuri. Well, that was something. I wiped the sweat off my bra. Huh? Kurisu was shaking. Right? What's that? Straight on, voice strain. With my vision finally, finally restored, I take another look around the room. And what I see strike me speechless. Everything turned to jail, or may not. The large table in the center of the room is made of thick, solid wood. It can hold about 5 or 6 people without breaking. That's why we place the phone wave and the X68000 on it. The table has been split in two, as if a wooden cutter axe. The computer and other parts connected to the phone to microwave are scattered across the floor. And the microwave itself is fine. 
has broken through the table. It literally stuck to the floor. I check out my surprise. There's no time to be standing with Joe again. Hole in coma. Seize the moment. <laughs> I'm an idiot. First, some maniacal laughter. Next, I try to take out my phone and do the usual, but unfortunately, it's still plugged into the phone web. Name subject to change. God damn it, missed opportunity. El Saiho Kongru. Is that how it's spelled? I whisper the word. Words that have no meaning. Words I use simply because they sound cool. Those words have meaning because they have no meaning. Years after repeated use, just speaking them is enough to calm my heart. Yes, 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 food. The important thing is food. Hey? Mayuri stand up and look inside the phone wave. It's embedded in the floor, but she somehow managed to pray the all open. Wait, it's all burnt black? I pat Mayuri's shoulder to cheer her up. It's okay, it's okay, you can re eat my chicken anytime. Hello. Hey, what's up, Tawan? How's it going? Welcome back. <laughs> yeah, Chrisu. <laughs> Christina now. Chrisu, you waste food. God damn it. I afflict everyone with an overpowering stare. This shall be remembered as the moment that the greatest experiment of the century succeed and brought humanity a step toward in new direction. Those guys have no right to ruin that with their foolish talk. <laughs> My heart pounding, I detach my phone from the phone wave. Luckily, it's completely unharmed. I open it, it still works. I bring up the list of received mail. New email should come at the top. However, my heart starts beating ever, even faster. The topmost email isn't the one Daru sent before the discharge occurred. The this impossible phenomenon is exactly what I was hoping for. I look back through my email history, and there, I found it. What? Found what? Oh, Karin. Uh, uh. Wait, it's 29, so it's same? Five? Five days back? <laughs> <laughs> That's hard to just laugh like that. <coughs> success. I don't know why, but it was a success. The timestamp proved it. I received the mail on July 24, five days ago. This is the same exact thing that happened to my someone stabbed Kurisu email. A mail sent to the, on the 29th arrived on the 24th. And just now, the truth was revealed to me in a flash of inspiration. This is so Just without. I feel my lip twist into a grin. 
I made Kurisu glad hit on. How dare she ruin my speech? Yeah, even if you're a white waifu, you can't do that. Let me be delusional, alright? Oh well, let's get with the point. Get to the point, I man. The mail was sent to the past. The chicken returned to its frozen state. Kurisu seemed to get it now. As expected of my genius assistant. Self proclaimed. Yes, way! This is a choice of Steinkin. It's a time machine! Time travel paranoia. The dawn of a new day. Finally! Oh, wait, new mail. Oh, so many new mails. Shining finger. Moika here. Are you a student? Okabe san? Are you on summer break? Moika. Are you a day person or a night person? If you rather the email as soon as you around certain time, let me know. I want you to reply as soon as you can, but I don't want to be a bother, so let me know, okay, Moika? By the way, I don't I don't like talking on the phone, so please don't call me. Bye bye. I just remember I didn't I didn't tell you my phone number. That's okay. I'm a lot more comfortable communicating by email anyway. What's about you, Okabeku? She talk a lot on her email. And she talk little on real life. Are you still sleep? Rise and shine. Have you talked to the the super hacker yet? Oh, I also like to hear more about John. What's his What's his name? I'm super curious, Moika. I'm nocturnal, so I usually don't go to bed until the sun come up. I don't. I'm, it's not so bad once you get used to it. Mail me whenever you wake up, okay? Can I reply the mail? No. Okay. The dawn of a new day. Actually, it's already noon. We didn't sleep at all. Sleep deprivation make the summer sun seem all that brighter. I really didn't want to go outside, but I'm fed up with the humidity inside the lab. I chuck a bottle of Dr. P. My stomach protests. Maybe I drank too fast? I'm exhausted, my hand is shaking slightly, and my voice uh, my vision is cloudy. I could pass out if I'm not careful. Maybe I should take a shower. That should stop off exhaust exhaustion, if only temporarily. This building has a basic shower room. There's no bad, but it's enough. A lab should be hell without it. Oh, the, the table's fixed now. Daru is at his computer, his back turned toward me. His right leg is bouncing impatiently. The room is mostly silent, save for the electric fan humming and Daru's mouth clicking. Daru doesn't look my way, he doesn't try to start a conversation. Neither do I. I don't have the energy. Outside is sunny summer afternoon, but inside the air is stale and empty of life. Yesterday, that shocking experiment convinced me that the phone wave was also a time machine. But Kurisu doesn't seem willing to accept the result. She just starts screaming. Too close, woman, get back. Then she took a mad dash out of the lab. It was like she couldn't get out of her last fast out of here fast enough. As for Mayuri, she was depressed about her chicken and bananas. So she start she skipped her daily custom sewing and went home. Grudge over food run deep, I guess. Which leave the lab empty, save for Daru and me. Our enthusiasm shot through the roof when we realized that phone wave has tremendous hidden potential. We nearly died of excitement after successfully sending an email to the past. 
So we stay up all night doing experiment to confirm whether or not the phone wave is indeed a time machine. The result, however, we went to the supermarket and stocked up on a wide variety of items. We tossed each of them into the phone wave, but everything failed, no change, nothing happened. After the experiment, where the discharge phenomena occurred, everything warmed up normally, no jellification. Suddenly, we couldn't get anything to happen. We still have no idea why. First, let's review the problem revealed by this last run of experiment. Problem 1. Electrical discharge safely precaution. We remove everything flammable from the development room to reduce the risk of fire. We also prepare two fire bucket full of water, just in case. But that's not a foundational, uh, fundamental solution. We'll keep an eye out from now on. But if things get dangerous, we should seriously consi consider relocating our experiment. Problem 2. Mass increase. When the discharge phenomena occur, the phone wave suddenly gained mass from un for unknown reason. Because of this, the microwave broke the table and made a dent in the floor. Wait, what? To deal with the issue, we placed the microwave on the floor with spread caution, caution and blanket underneath. This hide the hole on the floor too. It's only a temporarily fix, though we make any use of any more hole. Mr. Browse is quite capable of raising my rent. And that's to say nothing of calamity that will cause if it falls through the floor. Anyway, we need to find the source of the mass increase. If amateurs like us even can, that is. <coughs> but the first two problems pale before the third. This last problem is cri critical until we solve it. We can't really even really experiment with the phone wave. Problem 2, we are not even sure of the necessary condition to send email to the past. No matter how many times we tried, we couldn't pin down a single condition. We spent the entire night doing trial and error. We tried over different, uh, 40 different things, but not once could we reproduce the discharge phenomenon. I had this idea that opening the microwave door was the key. That theory was proven fate false. There might be something else that I'm missing, but for now, we are at an impasse. We start off in high spirit, but grew more and more frustrated. As time progressed, which brings us to the present. Honestly, I gave up. That's why I spent the entire morning lazing around like this. Another email pop up on my phone. Shining finger, what's up? I haven't gotten a reply yet. Are you still asleep? You sleep too much, Okabekum. You're living like an old man. Shut up. <laughs> well, I guess I'm not one to talk, loud man. So anyway, let me know when you have something on the BN5100. Pretty please, Mocha. I've been getting way too many of those since yesterday. They are from Shining Finger, the woman called Kiru Moika, which I sus suspect is the John Tito. I never use email this often before. Even Mayuri only sent me one or two a day, and she's a teenage girl. And frankly, this start to get on my nerve. I saw how far Shining Finger type that should have been enough to rip me off. Tip me off that she was a male demon. I was callous. It's too much of a pain to reply, so I ignore it. I finish off my bottle of Dr. Pepper, my stomach goggle. I haven't eaten anything since yesterday. Because you waste food. I'm so hungry. I can't even feel like showering. Ew. I call out to Daru, who's hammering on the keyboard. People! Oh, come on, Daru. It's beef bowl, you know. Come on, let's go. Come on, come on, come on, let's go. Oh, Are you hungry? Mayuri, hey, talk about the devil. Mayuri, she's sending, uh, sending money. Is uh, Spending money is getting dangerously low. You and Daru need to chip in too sometimes. You don't want to get between me and my food. 
you got eat you eat too much anyway <laughs> go on die before it's too late no don't get angry next time i will treat you to anything you want to eat so keep buying more bananas for the sake of our experiment sure send <laughs> I'm not gonna tell a girl she need to die. That's rude. Oh, Mayuri is already cute as she is. Aren't you hungry? Yeah, but... <laughs> You're such a bum. Hey, Okari need to, what, to look in the mirror. <laughs> what, is doing, what is he doing on the computer anyway? I'm curious. So I casually peek over his shoulder. Oh, whoa, this looks cool. That's an image of futuristic looking facility I've never seen before. Richly colored court crawling through a gigantic octagonal tunnel. It's the in interior of a spaceship from some sci fi movie. Based on the height of the people in the picture, the tunnel looked to be more than 10 meters tall. In incidentally, the people don't look Japanese. <sighs> Daru sighed heartily. I don't know if the blank look in his eyes from sleepiness, exhaustion, or if something just wrong with him. The Large Hadron Collider sure is cute. What? Large Hadron Collider? Is that an incantation? No, a secret technique? Ah uh, no, I don't know about it. I grab Daru's relaxed shoulder and ride them out. Stop being cool. Are you conscious? Of course, man. So, large hadron collider is <laughs> Dude, first you have you have 2D girls and 3D girls, 3D mates, and now you like um his Al Hesse? Come on, choose something. Oh my You lasting for something. <laughs> exactly, stop laughing for something that's not even humanoid. Ah, uh, no. <laughs> Factory at the underside of highway, irresistible or something. So, so, I do show. Where that is in? And the books, maybe? 2D, 3D, and even inanimate object. See? Exactly! Okarin thinks exactly like me. <laughs> and yet, you do anything to avoid things that don't interest you. Hypocrite. Daru, the man of culture, indeed. <laughs> My man. That name. I've seen it somewhere and recently. Where was it again? Oh, of course. Oh, so it's pronounced John Title. I have read it. I gotta keep reading as John Titor. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> I had hoped that Daru would remember, but no such luck. I don't remember all of it, but there's one thing I'm sure of it. Oh, 
気にならないこの奇妙な符号はシュタインズゲートの全体である可能性が高いファイターって信頼できる Yes, yes, trust him. 信頼できるかできないかはどうでもいいのだ俺たちのやつは今タイムマシンというキーワードでつながっているそのタイターが言及したセルについて念のために調べたとしてもそうにはならないはず、uh, I don't know going against a large corporation that seem to have shady background seem to have a lot of things to lose if we step into wrong landmine Virgo returned to my body. Curiosity truly is the greatest delicacy for a mad scientist like me. <laughs> anyway, the phone wave. Subject change. Experiment has hit a dead end for now. And it shouldn't matter if I made a little detour for this. <laughs> my son photo is smoking hot. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> that will strike his key with renewed passion. Oh damn! <laughs> Is that his phone? Porn folder? He gone to the my picture photo and opened a photo literally called Sir. Sir is the world's largest solution research center. It probably called. Europe's solution research center, or the Polish solution research center, is also called Sir. It's also called Sir. スイスとフランスの国境近くジュネーブ郊外にあってさ古いところだと HTML や HTTP ワールドワイドウェブを生み出したところってんで有名ワールドワイドウェブだとそれってインターネットビンゴビンゴ URL の最初についてるやつスーンインベンテッドカッド All I know what about スーン is What I read, Tito book. I never knew that was that amazing. Japan is not so much of a place, but the Japanese research team is also participating in the research team. What is CERN? What kind of research is it? It's basically a solution research. In the world, there is no CERN that has been used in the world. It's a big research research. It's a big research research. It's a big research research. シンクロトロンブースター大型電子用電子コライダーでラスボスは世界最大を誇る LHC ラージハドロンコライダータンタンオダクポセスアベリティトゥエントロモフォーサイズインモエフォームジャスアバウエネティングインアウォーシンプリバイスティキングタンオンデエンオブデネームダルスパワーエンコンパスエヴァンパーティクルエクセラレーター Wow, he's not wrong. Otaku have the ability, not Otaku and Fujoshi too as well. Oh, well, that's the same thing, right? Fujoshi is just a subtitle, sub of Otaku that focus on Yaoi, right? On Y stuff, right? <laughs> yeah, they can anthropomorphize, morph, uh, what? Anthropomorphosis, morphosize, what? Blah 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 blah. Never mind. They can uh, make everything more in their eyes. <laughs> Daru doesn't seem to notice my shock. He just brings up the next image. LHC is a very large circle of the 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 circle その実験でミニブラックホールが作られちゃうかもって噂もあったなそのミニブラックホールに地球が飲み込まれる宇宙がやばいみたいなやばいミニブラックホール I'm pretty sure Tito said his time machine used mini black holes are the things he said about CERN true? 現実にそうなる可能性はあるわねえよ Hundred percent that it won't. So it officially denied. Most 
true. If I remember correctly, Tito claimed that CERN began time machine research in 2001. In 2034, they complete the time machine. Right now, it's 2010. If they actually started research, it would have been 9 years ago. According to their official announcement, they only began experiment in 2008. That's suspicious. Of course, that's assuming Tito's story is true. Wait, wait, wait. So, because uh, he messed the first timeline, messed with the term timeline, Kurisu didn't die, and Tito just show up. So, maybe they just start the experiment last year. This is 2010 in the game, so last year, this can be 2008, some, something just cross. Uh, 2008 or 2009, maybe end of the year, something like that. Hmm. If that makes sense, if this is the next time, we'll lie. Some of Tito predictions were on the mark, but most weren't. I'm also perplexed by how everyone around me seemed to have forgotten about Tito's 2000 appearance. There's something important in Tito's tale. Or at least I want there to be. I take out my phone and put it to my ear. What you machine? ジョンタイタとセル。その二つの言葉から俺が言いたいことは分かってもらえるはずだ。偶然だって。おい、あまりにも失望させるな。何、奴らは世界を滅ぼそうとしている。ミニブラックホールによって。<笑> How the fuck are you gonna steal 27 kilometers tunnel? It was like Congo. I put away my phone, then turned to find Dado giving an aspect. Exasperate, look. What's that? Still a 27 kilometers tunnel for particle acceleration experiment. I want him to say something like, well, why the hell not? So, what's in it for me? <laughs> and then we continue like this, grinning slightly the whole time. Me, a weak word of potato chips. Daru, 10 days. Hmm, you sure are glutton. The drive make you hungry, man. Do you get started? You got it, boss. Or something like that. Yep, real cool conversation. Potato chip. Mayurin! Just hearing that from Okarin make me happy. Of course, I love you, Mayurin. So something like that. Yep, a real cool conversation. But the real world, Daru just cross his lip. <laughs> We've also tried this out intelligent. Work with me. Work with me here. Come on, buddy. My you man. You a super hacker. You're supposed to catch my drift. Follow on my delusional. <laughs> See where I'm going with this? No, not at all. Damn it! Hack it to soon. Daru stared me in disbelief. Daru, 
So you acknowledge that all your machines are garbage in before this. I look at Daru state in the eyes as his answer. Look like this made him understand my position. Daru sweep the garbage off his desk and sit up straight. Suddenly Daru is bursting with energy. It's like his earlier lethargy was a lie. Deal, get started. Let's do this! Oh, sorry, wrong button. <laughs> but this was a big supply of potato chips in your Swiss bank account. Daru doesn't respond. He already deep in concentration. I lie down on the sofa and let the cracking of Daru keyboard lure me to sleep. I wake up to the what, twilight sun sticking to the window. And I got a new email. Let's check it out. Ferris. Oh yeah, Ferris is the the delusional made made cafe girl, right? Kyoma. When operating in the mundane world, you're supposed to be this creature. Yeah. You don't want them to notice you. Remember the summer summoning had taken two thousand years ago to prepare. If it fails, everything will be ruined. Although I suppose that might make things interesting. <laughs> Oka, Oka Akiba, part of the mundane world? Nonsense, this is how it has belonged to the chaos for centuries. As it has showed me forever. What? Are you suggesting that I, the great Holy Koma, run and hide? You risk my air curl. Is the church still dev devoted to that fool uh, around? Even if they manage to resurrect their messiah, humanity's faith is less than 70% of what it was in this time. Human dot. This is great, blah blah blah. Interesting. You, what are you such a. Shame. I like this one. Sending email. A refreshing breeze blow in, softly brush my cheeks. Daru is exactly where I left him before I fall asleep. He's sitting in exactly the same position. Not much has changed beside his typing speed. Ah, ah, no, 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 oh, 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 I dropped something. Sorry, uh, <laughs> no, where it is? Where's my thing? Get back here. I need you. Please? Come on, where did I drop it? Arch. Ah! There we go. Sorry about that. <laughs> oh, and now he muttering with himself. I guess he hasn't had any success at hacking yet. I look around the room, but I can't find Mayuri. Maybe she's not coming today. I guess food related drugs really do run deep. I stand up and stretch. Ugh. I don't want to bother Daru, so I don't say anything to him. I take a cold Dr. P off the fridge and quench my thirst. Then I throw myself back down on the sofa and start browsing a channel on my phone. And what a perfect timing! Tito is currently posting in the thread. The Everend Wheeler model is correct. Please look it up to learn more. It seems you are still cling to a preconceived notion of time. Time does not simply run from past to the future like a car on a one-way street. To be more specific, the law of casualty do not allow contradiction to occur. If the result of an event, the effect is changed, the event itself, the cause also changed to prevent a paradox. That's why there are so few people who can observe change in divergence. Divergence being the world life 
100% different from the standard. You claim to be time travel without any proof. Stock train, please. I'm counting on you, Mr. Time Traveler. If you can't observe a change in divergence, then how can you possibly measure it? Oh, I know. Your time machine has a magical device that matches it for you. Lo, 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 lo. Oh, and you still haven't explained how a research institution conquered the world. Detail plots. Oh no. Humanity is doomed. What has science done? The JPG. Look. Nukes responding seriously to troll a trend. This tittle guy is a shitty troll. Hole in coma. Don't your people have anything to offer besides insult? How about contributing to the discussion? Plebeian scum. Plebeian scum. If you assume that time doesn't flow in a straight line, then the idea of time travel is much easier to swallow. Inside a scenario, a time machine traveling to a past doesn't need to fly against the flow of time. I said Tito Poy has, an, has murdered. By the way, Tito, I'd like to know more about CERN. What can you tell us about their current activities? Tell me which horse win the next Emperor's Cup. I'll bet my entire life saving. Ever and wheel model equal many world interpretation. Basically, that means parallel worlds. That's what. What's with all the stupid name tag? This hole in coma is more annoying than Titor. You call yourself John Titor, but you are fluent in Japanese. Writing in English would at least make it seem more realistic. You can't do English, can you? Can I ask you a favor? Tito, huh? My mom died last year in the Shibuya earthquake. If you stop, I stop my mom from leaving home, then I can undo her death. So please, lend me your time machine. You gonna believe the time traveler? Lord without proof? Are you an idiot? No one seemed particularly interested in what I said about time not flowing in a single, single direction. That proved that your preconceptions are deeply ingrained. Honestly, it bothered me that you simply accept that as a truth. I'm starting to understand why CERN was able to take over so easily. Whenever a major event caused divergent to change, the timeline is reconstructed to prevent paradox from occurring. For example, let's say that a major event caused this world line to diverge into a new world line. Call it world line B. On world line B, I'm afraid to say A channel never exists. As the timeline is reconstructed, all your memories of reading and posting on a channel will disappear, to be replaced by memory of you doing something else. In other words, by changing the present, you change the past. You wrote about CERN yesterday. The, I wrote about CERN yesterday. The only thing I can say is that you must not believe their lies. They have already succeeded in creating a mini black hole. Huh. So that's why people don't don't remember ever anything. Kuriko Han can come and come and I desire only to quench my intellectual thirst. I'd like you close my fool. I will reserve judgment until after I hear what Tito has to say. And then I will make a contact with Tito and acquire his time machine for myself. The great math scientist Ho in Koma who have the last laugh. Suck it. Sleeps back. <laughs> tell me stock price or fucking die, I won't believe until you tell me. That's not reconstructing the world, you idiot. It's, that's altering people's memory. Who the hell can alter the memory of nearly 6.7 billion people? Do you even realize how stupid that sound? I think I would have noticed if someone went and screwed with my brain. And what does any of that have to do with the many worlds interpretation? Do some research, lo. Mini black hole, lo 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 lo. Wait, the, f the future is a wasteland? That means I can be a road water and ride a mode, mode bucky, right? And I got me a mohawk. <laughs> Anyone know I can buy a spike shoulder pad? That's uh, what's it called? No, Fist of the North Star reference, right? Hokuto no Kim. <laughs> I checked Sun's homepage. It said they have been experimenting since 2009. Can they really make black holes? What the hell is gonna happen? Does Tito have a mohawk? God, that's fucking moe. Are you implying our brain make the world? Are you saying that universe is a giant tree and we a branch or something? 
That's some Ava level bullshit right there. Go back to 2036. John Tittle. This is how you reply to a spe specific person? Thank you for showing me. Reconstructing of timeline and alteration of people's memory. I think they're essentially the same thing. Why are you so intent on saying they're different? With a few exceptions, nobody can keep their memories across the world line. They are reconstruct along with everything else when divergent change. What's a road warrior? Nobody home! I'm immersed in a heat internet argument when an unfamiliar voice interrupt me. Hello! The door opened and a girl peeked inside. I recognize, recognize her. It's the girl. Wait. It's the girl I met yesterday at the Burn Tube workshop. When I met, she smiled. Nice boobs. <laughs> Daru's typing get even faster. Look like he's in the zone. It would be bad idea to disrupt disrupt him without without voice. I nod to the girl and hurried outside. Why do we have to be sticky? Um, what was his girl name again? Um, sexy tips? I think it was something like Aruma or Amore. Oh right, Amane, Amane Susuha. Yes, 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 I do call that. I raise, I raise my god and bring into a praying mantis stem. But Susuha just stared blankly. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, <laughs> I love oh my god. Why didn't she just say so? <laughs> Susuha not firmly. Hey, hey. Is it just me or her eyes gleaming? Wait, how do you know? She nod to herself for some reason. And contemptible? Contemptible? I thought I was the only one who used words like that in normal conversation. Wait. So golden uh magic finger, golden finger, Moika is not the John Titter but her? What? <laughs> Me and my big mouth. What? The window. Come to think of it, it was open and Daru and I were talking loudly. But can you really hear us from here? I look up to the second floor. The window is still fully open, but I can't hear a thing. I guess that will working quietly. I look down. There's an unfamiliar bicycle parked in front of Burn Tube Workshop. One of those mountain bikes, a famous shape, 
It's all sparkly. It's tire mostly clean. It's probably new. It looked pretty fast, but who is it? Susuha opened the burn tube workshop door with a very smile. Reconnoiter. Recon. Uh, now that's a word you don't hear in con actual conversation. I'm pretty sure it means I perform my reconnaissance to scout an area and gather intelli intelligence. Is she some kind of secret agent? I follow Susuha to the store. Damn, we were careless. Look like we need to close the window when we discuss sensitive matter from now on. But if we do that, the lab will turn into a sorting hell. Damn if I do. Damn if I don't. Or else men in black will raid us. I don't trust you at all. Look at go! I baked cookies today. I had everyone in my family eat some and got the seal of approval. Would it be okay if I bake some for your lab, friends, master? Oh, and it would be great if you could teach me some more technique with Samidare whenever you have time. P.S. I managed to do 10 streak today. You must soon depend on me. Remember, all those things come to an end. Eventually, every meeting, arrow are particularly had high from the organization forever and I still my arm grow weaker by the day when I'm gone. You how to take care of blah blah blah, I don't care. I'm sure I'm sure I'll get along uh, you sure get along with your family. How many family members do you have anyway? That will keep insisting that Shrine Maiden should come in pairs. Well done, we warmly welcome your refreshment. In fact you can come cook for us every day if you want. I'll ever provide you with a maid uniform. Yes, <laughs> this one. Yeah, understand. I'm actually tight lipped, so don't worry. Susan grinned and thumped her chest confidently. Oh, shit, that's it. Oh, it's quiet inside the Brow Tube workshop. That gigant TV isn't on. Mr. Brow not here either. Where's the manager? He probably went to see Chipmunk. He disappeared during business hour every now and then. Whenever I ask him where she's going, he always says something like, I'm picking up my beloved daughter up from school, or my beloved daughter has a cold with a huge grin on his mouth. He dotted on her too much. It probably just annoy her anyway. Just how irresponsible can you be to neglect like work to see your daughter? He used to put a black back soon sign on the door whenever he left. But now he has Susuha to take care of things while he was gone. Susuha lightly tapped the TV on the counter. He said to charge 1,000 yen. Not 1,000 yen! Damn manager! I bet he gave it to us just so he could charge repair fee. I reluctantly take a bill off my wallet and hand it to her Susuha. She take our receipt and apparently it's already written now. Are you kidding me? You think I'm strong woman? Don't you know take ten, ten more effort uh, ten times more effort to go upstairs than you come down? Defying gravity is no easy task, woman. Yes. Gender equality. <laughs> she muttered her tone pensive. How sarcastic of her.
Oh, Karim, don't say that. You're gonna shoot yourself in the foot. You're gonna shoot yourself in the foot. Come on, just accept the hell. Damn it. Stop trying to be cool when, when you can't do everything. Coloring gentleman. Coloring gentleman. Do you have powers? Susan's eye pop, but she clear her throat as if she to hide her surprise. <coughs> Liar. <coughs> Hand on fire. <laughs> Are you some kind of asper? When I nod, she whispered into my ears. Are there a lot of Esper like you? I thrust my chest out as far as possible to display my majesty. Oh, you had me scared for a sec there, but still, it's amazing that people like you exist. It's the reason that I'm not working. After muttering some nonsense to herself, she finally nodded in understanding. What the hell is she talking about? Is she a survival game otaku? So she is uh, John Tito. No wait, don't tell me. Go go. <laughs> go go thirteen, isn't it? She tried to glass thing over with an insincere smile. Her confusion is suspicious. That's remind me, I think I remember her saying some awfully disturbing things when they first met yesterday. I'm not going to kill you. Yet. <laughs> Burning tension run between us. Our eye met invisible sparks scattered. Shining finger. Oh, Kabe Kung! I want you to reply to me already. I've been waiting for you, you know. And please tell me the super hacker address when you can. If you don't get cracking, someone else might get to the IBM 50, 5100 first. Moika. So now I start to think that Moika is from CERN and this girl is uh, John Tito. Hmm. And she come to this place because it's a vintage, uh, what's it called? Uh, oh, electronic store. So she thinks she can find the old IBM 5100 in here. But guess not. Huh. And save. Yep, this is a good place to end for the day. Yep, this is a good place to end for today. Thank you for watching everyone, <laughs> or whoever show up. Thank you very much. I appreciate it, even if you don't say anything. I love you all. <laughs> Thank you for keeping me company. And I'll see you tomorrow, I guess. Probably gonna play something else. Again. <laughs> I got so many games that I haven't just played a, a bit and haven't finished halfway at, at all. 
God damn it. Uh, okay, I'll end this here. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow uh, at uh, probably about 8, 8 p.m. What's it called? UCT, is it? Let me check for real quick. Uh, la 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 la. Yeah, UTC plus 7 at 8, 8 p.m. I'll see you there. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you later. Bye. Bye bye. Thank you.